If you want to connect a Flame Flutter game over to the Flutter widget set, you would first need to instantiate a Flame game. So this drag demo game here is a Flame game class that I have extended. In the Run app, I'm running a Material app and a Scaffold from Flutter and a Stack. So the Stack runs the familiar Flame game widget here. And it passes it, of course, the game. So the parameter is game. And that game here is there. I also have a Flutter state full widget here called a button screen. And I'm also passing it the flame game. This connection points a common question for Flutter flame developers. So let's take a look at it. The character, it's a girl, is a sprite animation component. That's how she can appear like she's walking back and forth here. That's from the sprite animation component. Also, I'm storing a set or a list of strings here for her to talk. So when I click on this flutter button in the lower right, she's going to increment a string through this list and the text will change on the screen. The text changes because you calling this method. It's pretty simple here, but I'm assuming you want to do some additional processing there. Okay, so let's figure out how do you access all the information, such as the dialogue. There's also this Boolean flipped here, which you notice this purple thing when she's flipped or not flipped, this thing will change. So it's get it's getting the state of this property from the girl component, which is a sprite animation component. How does it grab it? So if you recall, it starts off with instantiate the flame game, which is this. So this is our main game right here. And outside of the onload method, we instantiate the girl from the girl component. Remember girl component is the name of the, the class that we created from the sprite animation component. And since we instantiated girl, the girl component above the onload method within the flame game, we should be able to access the girl and all her properties and methods from within the flame game. To have the flutter state full widget in button screen. So it's a stateful widget in the in the constructor um, remember it's being passed a game here since it has um, the instantiated game you cannot access it so here on line 16 I just created a kind of a shortcut so there's a, there's a variable called girl which points to widget.game.girl so you don't have to the only purpose of this is you don't have to write out widget.game.girl. Widget is this widget, right? So the widget is the, the stateful widget here. And the game is this game here, but this game that we're receiving, we received from the flame game. If you remember on the first stack, the first main screen, which has a stack. So good to repeat. We Essentially, the game here, this is the flame game, and then we passed it to our button screen. So now our button screen, it has the game. And for a simple game, this would work. Uh, we're using set state to change what appears on the screen. And the girl has a talk method here which is, it just returns a string, so it's very simple, but you could make it have add more functionality to that. So she runs the method from the girl and she needs the index of the array or the index of the list here. So that is the girl dot current speech. The main point of this demonstration is that you're accessing all the properties and methods of the girl from within the flame button. Since this is a very simple demonstration here, 
we're just using set state. Uh, this would probably get too complex of using set state if as the game got, gets more complex, but because our the things that state that we're managing are, is very small right now, we're using set state. And set state is, again, accessing the girl component here. And there is a is flipped right there. I made this shorter video to in response to actually several questions uh, from people about how to connect the either some type of buttons or Flutter widgets to and have it on the same screen with the Flame game. So I'll put the code in the description. And um, if it's if it's too complex, uh, drop me a note and I'll think about how to maybe go through it more step by step where you, know, you start off with a blank screen and you just start building your application that way. But keep going. It's a lot of fun to be using Flame. Uh, you should feel good that you're improving yourself and improving your, your Flutter skills. And Flutter is really taking off now, so I think those skills will really come in handy in the future. And have a great day.